So you think this is honey, right? Wrong. Well, some of it is, but this is a classic example of food fraud. Food fraud may affect 1% of the global industry at an estimate of around $40 billion a year. The extent of the honey fraud is just skyrocketing. It is getting out of control. In the last decade, there's been an increase in honey spiked with syrups like rice and corn. If you adulterate an extra virgin olive oil with seed oil, and those bottles reach consumers who are allergic to seed oil, you are sending them bombs. These are some of the worst offenders of food fraud. Honey, maple syrup, olive oil, seafood, juice, spices, infant formula, pine nuts. But this isn't just an American problem. It happens all over the world. Welcome to the world of food science, where we dive into the intricacies of food to improve it for people everywhere. Economically motivated adulteration, or EMA, involves intentionally altering or substituting valuable ingredients in food products to deceive consumers or increase profit margins. This deceptive practice, also known as food fraud, is a significant concern for regulatory agencies like the FDA, as it undermines consumer trust and poses health risks. EMA extends beyond food products and includes animal food and cosmetics, often leading to misbranding violations. Both consumers and manufacturers are victims of this deception, as fraudsters continually refine their techniques to evade detection, and they are becoming really good at it. As these criminals become more sophisticated, there is a pressing need for enhancing our detection methods and testing procedures to combat adulteration effectively. If you adulterate an extra virgin olive oil, with seed oil, and those bottles reach consumers who are allergic to seed oil, you are sending them bombs. This doesn't just scam consumers' wallets, but it also puts their health and safety at risk. It robs us of nutrients and can kill people if they're exposed to the wrong ingredient. Such as when China had a scandal where they found melamine added to instant formulas. Inspectors discovered the chemical in products at more than a dozen stores in China. The recall involves three companies. One of them was named in the original melamine scandal back in 2008. And back then, six children died and 300,000 got sick after drinking tainted baby formula. Melamine, by the way, is used to make plastics. These are some of the worst offenders of food fraud. Honey, maple syrup, olive oil, seafood, juice, spices, infant formula, pine nuts. But this isn't just an American problem. It happens all over the world. In the UK, there was a scandal where ground beef products were found to be adulterated with horse meat. They distributed something like 500 tons of horse labeled as beef, enough for 4.5 million individual meals. This revelation shocked consumers and raised concerns about food safety and transparency in the meat industry. Street. Food fraud happens more with more expensive foods. Take honey for example. Fraud occurs here when rice syrup solids are added to the honey to reduce the cost. Honey is a much more expensive product to produce than other sugar syrups, particularly those from plants such as corn, rice, sugar cane, and sugar beets. The extent of the honey fraud is just skyrocketing. It is getting out of control. In the last decade, there's been an increase in honey spiked with syrups like rice and corn. It's hard to say where it's actually coming from. There is an enormous increase in the amount of honey that is exported from a few countries, but they don't have any more bees. It's like their production has more than doubled over about the last 10 years. As a result, there is a strong economic advantage for the replacement of honey with other sugar syrups. Honey consistently rates as one of the top five fraudulent food products. Honey is hard to test, which is why it's so easy to pass off as honey. Olive oil is frequently subject to dilution and substitution, with cheaper seed oils often being added to increase profits. Where does it originate from? Does it really come from where the label says? Italian oil commanding premium prices, a swift swap of labels can be lucrative. For years, a considerable amount of Greek olive oil has turned up at Italian exporters, who then mislabel it as Italian extra virgin olive oil. This adulteration practice undermines the authenticity and quality of olive oil products, 
posing concerns for consumers regarding food integrity and trust in the regulatory agencies like the FDA. Ground spice powders are frequently adulterated with artificial colors, chalk powders, starch, and similar substances for various reasons, which can include increasing the weight of the spice packets. The fraud often involves expensive products, like saffron, for instance. That's why the spice is regularly examined by chemists. Adulterants such as chalk powder or starch are added to bulk of the product, allowing sellers to sell more products for the same cost, or even enhancing the appearance of the spices. Artificial colors may be added to ground spices to improve their visual appeal, making them appear fresher or more vibrant than they actually are. These adulteration practices deceive consumers and compromise the quality and authenticity of the spices, highlighting the importance of strict quality control measures and transparency in the spice industry. There have been instances where products labeled as 100% juice have been found to contain less than 30% actual juice. This misleading labeling practice deceives consumers about the true contents of the product and raises concerns about honesty and transparency in the juice industry. The filler, mostly water. These kinds of findings highlight the importance of rigorous testing and accurate labeling regulations to protect consumers and ensure they receive products they expect. There's intentional and unintentional adulteration. Food fraud involves intentional adulteration and deliberate tampering with food for economic gain through mislabeling or adulteration. On the other hand, food defense focuses on preventing international harm or sabotage to food products. Unintentional adulteration, however, pertains to accidental contamination or errors in food production processes that pose risks to food safety and quality, such as cross-contamination or the introduction of pathogens leading to foodborne illnesses. While unintentional adulteration may not have the same malicious intent as food fraud or food defense, it still poses significant risks to consumers and highlights the importance of robust food safety measures and quality control protocols in the food industry. Before the FDA existed, food fraud was prevalent. The Jungle Book, written by Upton Sinclair and published in 1906, highlighted issues such as food adulteration, contamination, and worker exploitation. It played a significant role in shaping public opinion and ultimately led to the passing of important legislation, including the Pure Food and Drug Act and the Meat Inspection Act of 1906, which laid the groundwork for the establishment of the FDA. The Food and Drug Administration administration, FDA, is constantly ferreting out products manufactured under filthy and unsanitary conditions. The most recent and significant legislation in this regard is the FDA Food Safety Modernization Act, or FSMA, signed into law by President Barack Obama in 2011. FSMA represents a significant overhaul of food safety regulations in the United States, shifting the focus from responding to foodborne illness outbreaks to preventing them. It mandates preventative controls for food facilities, enhances the safety of imported foods, improves oversight of food production, and empowers the FDA to enforce stricter safety standards throughout the food supply chain. FSMA aims to protect public health by ensuring that the food Americans consume is safe wholesome and free from contamination. Detection and prosecution of such fraudulent activities are crucial to maintaining consumer trust and safeguarding public health. Consumers play a crucial role in combating food fraud by reporting any suspicious or fraudulent activities they encounter. By promptly notifying the company or regulatory authorities, consumers can help prevent further harm to public health and safety. Additionally, investing in new and improved detection systems and technologies is essential for staying ahead of fraudsters and reducing the likelihood of fraudulent activities going undetected. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Now, my question to you is, have you encountered any food products that you think is adulterated? Comment down below and let me know. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. Toodaloo!